boy Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, vibes it up in the kitchen as usual. Um, part five of, the, yeah, this is part five now, of the five-part Christmas series. Stuff you can put on your dinner table this holiday season. And this time it's all about the sorrel glazed ham. Apologies if the video turns out to be long because there's quite a few things I want to share with you guys in, in this video. We're going to roast that ham, we're going to make the glaze, and we're going to make uh, a chutney to serve the ham with. So it's a, sort of a three-part something going on here, all condensed into one. So vibes it up, man, and happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, all them kind of thing, man. Bless up. So here we go, guys. I've got my ham, and this is a fully cooked ham. It's a smoked ham. Now, traditionally in the Caribbean, when we're doing ham, we usually boil it a bit first, maybe for about 15, 20 minutes to remove some of the salt. But I'm just going to go live and direct as this, like this. And all I did was, I cut maybe about a millimeter into the sort of fatty area and skin here. I went into in one direction and then I went on the opposite direction to create sort of like squares or diamonds. And in each diamond, now you can't see it right now, but once we start roasting it, and you have to preheat your oven 350 degrees. I'm just going to go into the center of each one, each one of these triangle um, diamonds or squares, whatever it works out to be. But once it roasts a little bit, you'll be able to better see it. And that's all I'm doing. The only flavor I'm adding at this point in this ham is the cloves. Now, if you're not a huge fan of cloves, you can skip this, skip this step or hold back on how much you use here. I'm just going to go ahead and dress that up with the cloves now. Now, since I know a lot of people associate pineapple with ham, you know, they go hand in hand. Rather than do the traditional way of using that canned stuff, what I did was, and you would have seen me done it there, I have these pineapple wedges from fresh pineapple that I just cut up into, uh, into wedges, as I said, into spears. I think spears is the correct name. I keep knocking the camera from time to time. I do apologize for that. My oven, again, is preheating at 300 and... 50 degrees um, Typically since this ham is already fully cooked all you want to do is roast it off in the oven um, 10 minutes per pound if it's not fully cooked you want to do about 20 minutes per pound It's going to go on the bottom rack on the well one up from the bottom and not exactly um, The middle rack so one up from the bottom It's going to go in there. I'm going to tent it with some foil and let that roast in the oven it's now time to get things ready for the sorrel glaze, but 
before we get to actually making the glaze, what we need to do is get the sorrel started. And I have here one stick of cinnamon. I'm gonna go in with a few cloves. We're also gonna need some ginger. And you will notice one thing about this, and this is why I think this recipe works great with ham. It's all flavors you associate with ham as well, right? Here I have my dried sorrel, and all the ingredients I use will be listed down in the description of the video. And as usual, I'll post the actual recipe on CaribbeanPod.com. So we have the cloves, we have the ginger, we have the cinnamon, and I'm going to add some orange to it. And all it is, is some fresh orange slices. Now, typically when my mom or my dad or my aunt, anybody's making sorrel, they would use dried orange peel, but I find by going in with the orange like this, there's no need for, well, you can't be the flavor of the dried orange peel, but pretty much I'm going with that now on the stove to bring that up to a boil. It's come up to a boil now. Now, if you're from the Caribbean, the scent that's coming out of this right away, it will remind you of being back home in the Caribbean around Christmas time. That scent is amazing. All we want to do now is turn that down to a simmer and let that simmer for about 20 minutes. I'm just going to go in with a spoon and, and move it around a little bit. We want that to simmer for about 20 minutes, then shut off the stove, put the lid on there and let it steep for another half an hour or so. We still got time. The, the ham is still in the oven there. It's been in the oven now for about 55 zero minutes. Covered, tinted. Now, what I want to do here, and one of the reasons why I think I didn't explain why I use the pineapple slices in there. When I covered it, while the pineapple cooks and uh, gets tender, it releases all the fragrance and it's going to, well, add that pineapple goodness to the ham as well. Excuse me. But now what I want to do is, this is going to cook based on the 10 minutes per pound. This is just over eight pounds so I'm thinking about an hour and 20 minutes I'm gonna cook this so it's been 50 minutes so the rest of the time the next 30 minutes I'm just gonna leave it uncovered back in the oven to help render some of that fat and really develop some color on it it's been steeping now it's all good and ready to go now before I strain this to get to the actual um, nectar of that sorrel there that liquid that we want to make that glaze with what I want to do is I'm gonna go in and fish out and the reason why I'm fishing it out at this point is most of the cloves would have been would, would sink to the bottom. So by doing it this way, I'm getting just the sorrel petals itself. And I want to grab maybe about, because remember this was dehydrated, it was dried before. So now that it's plumped up, um, the two cups we started off with will be quite a bit more. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab some of that. Maybe about a cup and a half or so, and there's that cinnamon stick. We don't want that for this purpose here. I'm going to go ahead and reserve some of that, strain that, and bring it back into the pot here. So there we go. It's strained. Now I have it in a smaller saucepan, and I'm bringing it back up to a bubble. We want to reduce that all the way down by at least half. We want this to get nice and, and really condensed with that um, sorrel flavor. As the sorrel reduces down, it's time to start going in with give it a bit more flavor and stuff like that. So I've got here some orange zest and it's just thin shards of orange zest, the orange skin that I just chopped up in there. I'm going to go in with a bit of orange juice just to heighten the whole citrus. Remember we boil it with some orange, orange as well. We've got here brown sugar, and this is what's really going to make it nice and sticky and ah, all that niceness. And some honey. I'm going to go in there with that honey. And the whole idea here now is to keep an eye on this. We want this to get nice and thick and just become a nice syrup, basically. I'm just going to give that a stir. And we really want to reduce that all the way down now. You can notice from the lines there how much it has reduced but we really want it to go down there's a little bit more more syrup like before we get to basting the ham with it to um not basting but glazing i took the ham out of the fridge and um, i just turned up my oven now to 400 degrees fahrenheit over here we've got that glaze all done now got it nice and thick 
You can go thicker if you want. But the whole idea here now is to start glazing that ham, put it back in the oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and every three to five minutes, we'll give it a layer of that glaze. I'm gonna remove all the pineapples from there. It served its purpose for me. Now I'm gonna use that same pineapple to make the sorrel chutney I spoke about earlier. Just gonna start working that. And you can allow it to drizzle down if you want. But the whole idea here is to cover the entire ham. I just sort of sap it on actually. I think the sapping on might be easier. Give that a good coat of this and then back in the oven and you want to keep repeating it until you get that desired um, sort of glaze that you're happy with. Let's rock this quick chutney, sorrel chutney. So I've got some of the sorrel that we reserved and I gave it a rough chop. So that's going into my pan here. Pan is on a medium, a uh, low heat. And I've also got all that roasted pineapple, which again, I gave it a rough chop as well. That's going in there. Next up, I've got some orange zest. You really want this on a low heat because we need to um, sort of cook it a little bit just to get everything coming together nicely. Some brown sugar. And this is more like a relish, I guess, than a chutney. Because when we think chutney, especially in the Southern Caribbean, it's supposed to be spicy. And the final thing, the juice of half of an orange, just to bring that all together. Low heat, put the lid on there and let it all come together. One thing I'm gonna go in there with is a small bit of salt. Just a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. Trust me on this, you might be questioning the black, black pepper, but it works. Just gonna bring that up to a simmer. Put the lid on there and let it cook down for a little bit. This is basically the fifth time, so five times <clears throat> in total I'll be um, glazing this. I remember the oven is at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm doing this every five minutes or so. It's been going now for 15, 20 minutes on that low setting. One thing I would recommend doing is to chop up the uh, pineapple pieces just a little bit smaller than this. I guess my eye big, that was it. But this is pretty much done, allow it to cool. You can store this in the fridge uh, a good week or two. Serve it with your slices of ham and your proper. So here you go, friends. Something a little bit unique, well, unique for me. Um, sorrel glazed ham. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Um, do give the video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And in the next few days, I'm going to take a couple days off because five recipes back to back. And no joke thing. I'm going to take a break and I'm going to come back with a couple recipes showing you guys how to use leftover turkey. Vibes it up and have a Merry Christmas.